Hello, folks. Mr. Dell here. Uh, we are looking at similar figures and scale factor of those similar figures. So, and then finding missing sites. So this is a problem from CPM's uh, course two, section five one two, uh, specifically number five dash twenty two. So I'll read it. We'll go through it. The trapezoids at the right are similar shapes. Similar shapes. What does that mean? Similar shapes mean they have the same angles, just one is either smaller or larger than the other. Same angles, same shape, just either an, if it's been enlarged or shrunk. So uh, we're looking at trapezoids. So it says, here's my trapezoid A, trapezoid B. It, it wants to know what's the scale factor between shape A and B, okay, the scale factor. So I would assume that A is my original and B is my copy, just for the fake fact that this one's A and that one's B alphabetically. So remember, scale factor is always taking a corresponding side of the original over the copy, right? So I want to know, I'm sorry, I that's not right. It's the copy over the original. Uh, I had to think through that one through. There we go. So it's the copy over the original. Uh, so it's, it's looking at the growth. So my copy is B. So in this case, my scale factor is going to be, I'll abbreviate scale factor is going to be something from B over A, right? One of the sides of B over A. That's going to tell me my growth, right? What is the growth? So we look at a corresponding side. So I've got 15 and X are corresponding, but X doesn't give me anything because that's missing right now. I got to figure that one out. I've got this 18 and Y are corresponding. But again, I don't know what Y is, but here I have, these are listed that 30 and 50, those are corresponding sides, right? They're the same side of the shape. Just one is larger than the other. So I'm going to put 50 over 30, and that's my scale factor. And if I simplify that, which would be to divide top and bottom by 10, my scale factor would be 5 thirds. So what is this saying? This is saying that if I was thinking about A to B, how did I grow from A to B? I multiplied each side by 5 thirds. Or you could say 1 and 2 thirds if you wanted to, but 5 thirds is... A good enough response for us so it's one and two-thirds larger b is one and two-thirds larger than a okay so now that's my scale factor so now part b says find the lengths of the missing sides so i need to figure out what is x what is y so if i know i have to take x and multiply it by 15 or excuse me by five thirds to get 15, I, I've got to figure out what that number is, right? I can look at it that way. Now that I know my scale factor, a couple of things I could do. I could say, take five thirds, multiply it by X, and that should give me my 15. That's one way of looking at it, okay? So I can solve that equation for X, or I could set up a ratio of corresponding sides. I could say that, oh, I know that uh, this here, this 30, excuse me, the, yeah, 30 over 50 corresponding sides, 30 over 50 is the same thing as X over 15, right? Because the ratios would all equal to that five thirds or three fifths in this case, because I've got them reversed. So either way I look at it, I, I need to find what that X is based on either setting up a proportion and solving it, uh, basically a ratio of corresponding sides equal or solving this equation. I'm going to go with solving this equation because I want to make sure we understand that. So what, what we need to do is if I'm, if I'm dealing with something times X, I need to figure out what that number is. The, the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So I would divide by five thirds, both sides to determine what X is, right? If it's five thirds times something, then in order to figure out what that X is, we would take 15 divided by 5 thirds. And how do we how do we divide by fractions? We multiply by the reciprocal, 
right? So instead of 15 divided by 5 thirds, it's 15 times 3 over 5, okay? When you have a fraction multiplied by a whole number, put the whole number over 1. You could just multiply straight across and then simplify. 15 times 3 is 45. 45 over 5. Well, that actually simplifies to be 9. So in this case, we just determine that x is equal to 9. Okay? That's one way of finding it. So we're good there. I'll, I'll, I'll move on to y now. How to find y? Well, remember, my scale factor is I multiply a to get b. So I'm going to take a, which in this case is 30, and multiply 30 times 5 thirds to get y. So this one's already set up for us. So 30 times 5 thirds, again, put the whole number over 1, multiply straight across, you get 150 over 3 is my y, which 150 divided by 3 is 50. So if y is equal to 50, x equals 9, scale factor is 5 thirds. Okay, there you go.